This phone looks like a suitcase to me. There is a Samsung display and a Sony lens on this phone and it can give really fast charging. Assalamu alaikum and hello friends, I hope you are doing great. Mudassar is back again with a new phone, Realme GT Master Edition. This phone is giving us a lot of great features inside. We are going to talk about them all. But before that, let's open the box and see what we are getting inside. Well guys, if you are on my channel for the first time, please subscribe to it and press the bell icon. Well guys look at the back of this phone, look at these horizontal strips. Why we are calling it a suitcase design? Well this famous Japanese industrial designer called Naoto Fukasawa, I don't know if I am saying it right but he has given this phone a special touch. Actually the theory of design is when you see a suitcase, you start thinking of traveling. You either recall your travel memories or you want to travel somewhere. And when you recall traveling, you think of a suitcase. And since you link this design with travel, Realme wants to link it with travel and photography. Well actually guys, this is a synthetic leather which Realme is calling concave wagon leather. It's a special polymer material that has been turned into a three-dimensional shape through a special molding process. This raised part is 0.3 mm high and this fence is 18.8 mm wide. And here you can see the designer signature, it's kind of feels special. It looks different in your hands, it gives a flagship kind of feel. Instead of a clear case, Realme is giving us a 3D suitcase shaped tray back case which is also adding to the beauty of this phone. It does not seem to slide easily but once there, it gives a solid look that is similar to the original back and it also carries the designer signature as well. But other variants are giving regular TPU case, they are not 3D finished. So we have this triple camera setup which is very well aligned. As you can see, it merges well with the body color. Apparently, all lenses feel to be the same size but they are definitely different. We have a 64 megapixel wide angle lens, an 8 megapixel 119 degree ultra wide angle lens and a 2 megapixel macro sensor. So on the front here, Realme GT Master Edition gives us a 32 megapixel Sony lens. It's actually Sony IMX615 sensor. So I think we should be getting really sharp selfies and really nice bouquet. Well guys, you already know how good Samsung phones displays are. This phone is giving us a 6.4 inches Super AMOLED screen that is coming from Samsung. Look at the brightness level. It maxes out at 1000 nits which is awesome. You are actually getting 1080 into 2400 pixel resolution and a 120Hz screen refresh rate. Then you get 360Hz touch sampling rate which is also good news for the gamers. And then it gives 100% P3 wide color gamut that means you should be getting great display experience, rich colors and also good energy efficiency. We have a power key on the right side as usual and easily clickable. The volume keys are on the left side. And just above the volume key, we have a SIM tray. It can house two nano SIMs. There is no SD card option on this phone. Realme GT Master Edition is giving us a powerful mid-range processor. It's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G, a 5G chipset that is manufactured on 6 nanometer base processing. We are getting tons of performance modes on this phone. Realme says you can use this phone under high temperatures and humidity. Plus these buttons and the USB ports are quite durable. For example, you can use this USB port 20,000 times without a problem. I don't know how someone is going to count it in daily life but we have to trust Realme. Well here we have an in-display fingerprint sensor. It's a new generation of light sensitive screen fingerprint module and it's really fast. To support the processing, Realme GT Master Edition gives 8GB RAM plus there is a dynamic RAM expansion technology at work that can allow us to add further 5GB RAM into the system. If you have enough ROM available on the phone, the phone can grab the space for its use. You have Android 11 on this phone and Realme UI 2.0 at work. On this phone, Realme has refined the charging algorithm that saves the battery while charging and doesn't overcharge it. Plus they say it can charge in 33 minutes which is awesome. I will for sure test this battery in my upcoming video. But by the way, I charged this battery for 10 minutes and it gave me around 39% of battery. So as far as the gaming is concerned, I think this phone can give us a high gaming performance. I mean there is a hyper boost for lag free gaming experience. Let's take a look at the camera interface here. On the top I can see the AI button in the middle. And as I roll it down from here, I can see tilt shift, frame change and timer in the photo mode. And in the video mode, I can see this ultra steady video button which is here because of EIS on this phone. And when I roll down the menu here, I can change resolution between 4K, 1080 and 720 and also the frame rate. Well, 4K doesn't seem to allow 60 frame rates here. 
Well, let's check the real thing here. The real me is talking about a lot. We have the street photography mode here and down here you can see the fast zooming options. You can take images in raw format as well. Then we have couple of filters over here that support street photography. Realme has tried to ensure that this camera could give fast and real street photos and you could get a professional photography experience. There are tons of other modes and filters like DIS snapshot mode which should control the camera shake while taking photos. And Realme has also improved the night mode on this phone. The algorithms have been updated so they claim the night performance is going to be a lot better on this phone. I have taken a few shots for you, let's take a look at them. Well, this mode looks really amazing to me and Realme says you can shoot large format photos with this phone. So I'm really excited to review this camera and soon you will inshallah see the video as well. Well guys, this phone gives us so many reasons to fall in love with. Which of the features you like the most? Do let me know in the comment area. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel. Until my next video, Allah Hafiz.